Wojak goes to college to get a degree because society told him that's the only way to be successful and not end up a loser. He decides to study psychology because he was told that you should follow your passion, and that was the only subject that he was slightly interested in outside of playing video games and watching YouTube. He graduates after five years and $100,000 in student loan debt, and surprise, surprise, he's not able to find a job in psychology. Every job available requires at least a master's, and there's hundreds of applications for each open position. He ends up working a low-wage job at Starbucks where his only pleasure in life is purposely misspelling people's names just to see their reaction. Do you know a Wojak? Are you a Wojak? It's okay. It's not your fault. Useless degrees are one of the biggest scams of all time and every single year millions of people fall for it. Whoa! This is worthless. And that's because society has lied to you about college and how it actually works. Your parents probably told you that you need to go to college to be successful, and it really doesn't matter which degree you get because all of them will open a lot of doors for you. And to be fair, back when they went to college, it probably was that way. A degree was basically a golden ticket to success. But then things changed and your parents and your teachers were lied to and fooled. All the while, universities and student loan companies were raking in trillions of dollars by stealing your dreams and your future potential. But today that ends because I'm going to be exposing the most useless college degrees so that you and anybody else who needs to hear it can avoid getting scammed. Thank you. Number 13 is psychology. And I can already see it. There's gonna be a bunch of triggered Wojaks that are furiously typing right now down below because they're mad that I put this on the list. And they're gonna be smashing their keyboards when in reality they should be smashing the like button instead. Because let's be real here, with the $100,000 that this degree costs, you could have started a business, could have bought yourself a condo, you could have bought yourself a lifetime supply of ramen, traveled around the world. I mean, just about anything would have been better than spending it on this useless degree. And I remember when I was about to graduate high school and I was picking what to do with my future, I talked with both high school counselors as well as college counselors, and they both gave really bad advice. They told me to follow my passion, which is basically code speak for spend $100,000 on whatever college degree you think is mildly interesting. And let's be real here, 17 and 18 year olds have no clue what their passion is. We have no idea what we wanna do with the rest of our lives. So making a 17 or 18 year old spend $100,000 on a college degree to find their passion is probably one of the worst possible ways that you could help them to find their passion. And at the time, I almost ended up choosing a useless degree like psychology because it was the subject that I found the most interesting. But the truth is, I was only interested in parts of psychology and I could have learned all of that online completely free from the best universities in the world. And I think a lot of people out there can relate to this. So psychology is actually one of the top three most popular degrees with over 127,000 graduates per year. And it comes in third behind business and nursing degrees. But there's one massive problem here and that is there is nowhere near 127,000 jobs available for people who graduate with bachelor degrees. To even have a chance of getting a job, you need a master's or in some cases even a doctorate in psychology. And don't get me wrong, there are some good jobs out there if you have those, but most people go in not realizing that. And a lot of people have no clue what they're getting themselves into because only a small percentage of psychology grads end up going to get a master's or a doctorate. So the vast majority of them end up with a degree that is not going to help them get a job in anything related to psychology, AKA a useless degree. Now, with that being said, this degree is actually pretty good compared to a lot of the other ones on this list. But the reason I included it here is because I think it's one of the most overrated degrees out there. And this is a perfect example of a degree that's way too saturated because let's be honest, just about everybody thinks that psychology is interesting. Number 12 is a biology degree. Now, I know some of you might be thinking that, Shane, a biology degree is the key to understanding the intricacies of the human body, the secrets of the natural world, and the mysteries of life itself. And to that I say, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Because let's be real here, a biology degree is not only expensive, it's also becoming less and less valuable. With all the advancements in technology, you're probably better off learning how to code and then have a robot do the lab work for you. And let's not forget about the job prospects. Sure, you could become a doctor or a scientist, which would require a lot more schooling, but let's be real here. The competition is fierce and the job market is flooded. So why not just skip the degree and go straight to working as a Starbucks barista? But don't take my word for it. Ask the countless biology graduates that are working minimum wage jobs that have nothing to do with the subject. And they'll probably be happy to tell you how their expensive degree is really paying off. 
because let's be real, a biology degree might make you smart, but it certainly is not going to make you rich. But all joking aside, biology does come in at number four right behind psychology with 120,000 graduates per year. And everybody says that STEM degrees are great, right? Any science, technology, engineering, or mathematics degree you get is going to be great. And that just simply is not true. Biology is bad, especially considering it's a STEM degree. Because no, not all STEM degrees are amazing. Because when you look at the important statistics like demand, salary, job satisfaction, unemployment rate, etc., biology is actually pretty bad. And I had a friend who got this one in undergrad because she thought it would be a great degree to get for medical school. Well, plans changed. It turned out she didn't want to go to medical school after all, but she couldn't find a job with her basic biology degree. And so what did she do? She was forced to go back to school to get a master's. She uh -uh. still couldn't find a good job, so she went back to school to get a doctorate. And of course, this is not something she wanted to do initially. You know, I had conversations with her. She definitely thought like she was misled and scammed. But with that being said, it turned out okay for her. For many other people, it doesn't turn out nearly as well. So just keep in mind that even the almighty STEM degrees aren't always going to be a great choice either. Number 11 is going to be a communications degree. Ah, yes, the athlete's major. And I appreciate my fans also. My wife and my girlfriend, what? Yeah, I mean my wife, yeah, sorry to say. This is the major that athletes take when they have to maintain a C average to stay on the team, and they wanna do it with the least amount of time and effort. And basically, this is the best degree for them to keep their fancy scholarships while putting in absolutely no effort whatsoever. Now, make no mistake, this degree is going to be borderline worthless to just about anybody who takes it, unless, of course, you're an athlete that wants to become a talking head after you finish your career and you blow all of your money like 80% of professional athletes do. Why? Well, it's just way too general. That's the truth. It's one of those skills that's like a life degree or a breathing degree. There are certain skills that you can can learn in the classroom and there are certain skills that you have to learn in real life and communications is one of those skills there are the only way you're gonna get really good at it is by practicing it in the real world I'd like to take my wife again and my two kids and think about it business owners have no clue what specific skills you have when they see that you graduated with a communications degree like how are you gonna help their business how are you gonna provide value how are you going to justify them spending fifty thousand dollars on you speaking of general degrees the next one on the list is going to be a liberal arts or general studies degree now please if you take one thing from this video just one thing you forget everything else keep this in mind do not get a degree that has the word studies in it. No, God, please, no! Basically, this is the golden rule that you should just always follow to avoid getting a useless degree. And I'm sure there's gonna be some Wojak in the comments section that's gonna find like one exception to the rule and then brag to his wife's boyfriend that he debunked a YouTuber. But generally speaking, 99% of the time, getting a degree with the word studies in it is going to be a massive waste of your time, effort, and money. I'm not even gonna go on here. It's painful to even talk about these things sometimes. So number nine on the list is going to be a sociology, anthropology, or archeology span degree. Now, I decided to bunch these three degrees together because they all have one thing in common, and that is they are commonly associated with psychology degrees. But the truth is they actually make a psychology degree seem like a great investment because they are much, much worse. Now with these degrees, it's pretty much impossible for you to get a job in anything related to the subject, even if you get a master's or a doctorate. Like with psychology degree, at least if you do get a doctorate, you're probably gonna get a pretty decent job. But with these degrees, the only people that are actually making money are the people People that are working at colleges and teaching other people about the degree. Hey, wait a minute, that kind of sounds like a pyramid scheme. I have to go make a call. Number eight on the list is going to be photography and pretty much any other art related degree. And by the way, I just wanna say right off the bat before people get mad, I have no problem with artists. I love artists, many of my best friends are artistic. And also I'm not one of those people who says you can't do art for a living. You absolutely can. I mean, I'm a YouTuber. I'm literally making videos for a living. But just about everybody I've met who has gone to art school has told me that it is a scam and it's typically not worth it. Why? Because art is subjective and it's constantly changing. The music that was popular five years ago is no longer popular today. Fashion looked completely different 10 years ago than it does today as well. And art degrees are kind of like designer handbags. They cost an arm and a leg and you'll only use them a few times a year. But unlike 
like designer handbags, you'll be paying off the student loans for the next few decades. Plus, let's be real, that degree in medieval pottery is probably only going to come in handy in a game of Trivial Pursuit. So save yourself the debt, get a good job, or better yet, become a YouTube superstar like Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, or myself if you truly want to achieve true happiness and do art for a living. Wait a minute! Who are you? All joking aside, college is probably one of the slowest moving and least artistic entities that has ever existed. Like if you want to learn exactly what not to do to be successful in art, go to college. That would be actually a pretty good value proposition. Like here's everything you shouldn't do. If you want to learn what's up to date in the art world right now and whatever niche you're trying to get into, college is the last place in the world that you're going to find that out. Every ounce of creativity has been squeezed out of college like a watermelon thrown into a shredding machine. But Shane, college will teach me how to be more creative and expand my mind. Nope, not at all. College is probably the most standardized and least creative place in the entire world. Most universities are like dinosaurs stuck in the mud. They're teaching you stuff that worked 10 years ago, but it doesn't work today. Or they teach you things that you could have learned online for free on YouTube, or maybe $5 in a Udemy course. And if you think you're gonna get a well-rounded perspective on the world, you know, learn about everyone's opinion in different cultures like liberal ideology or conservative or libertarian or socialist, nope, think again. More than 80% of Harvard professors identify as liberal or very liberal, and less than 2% identify as conservative. And this is even though 73% of Americans identify as either moderate or conservative. So if you think you're going to expand your mind, get a well-rounded perspective on the world, take in every different type of opinion and then formulate your own, nope, they're gonna feed you the same cringe bullshit talking points that you're going to hear constantly from the media, Hollywood, TV, mainstream news, and social media. Because they don't actually want you to be successful. They want you to be a good little NPC student that does exactly what you're told because that's what keeps the system going. And more importantly, that's what keeps the easy money flowing into their pockets. But I digress. Number seven on the list is going to be art history. And this one is even worse than art because it's literally the history of art. And I guess this one kind of goes for history degrees in general. And by the way, history is my favorite subject. This is another one that I almost went into because of the bad advice that I got from my high school and college counselors. And I actually did take some history classes and I ended up not enjoying it nearly as much because they made me study stuff that I didn't want to. They also made me memorize dates, which I quickly brain dumped right after the tests. And they would make me write long papers about stuff I wasn't interested in. When the truth is, I can very easily study my favorite subjects on the internet, and I can even take classes from the best universities and the best professors in the world completely free. And in the modern world, there are so many different ways that you can follow your passion other than dropping $100,000 on a college degree. I mean, we are living in the 2020s. You have access to the world's foremost experts at your fingertips. All you have to do is just type it into Google. And there are classes at the top universities in the world. For instance, MIT OpenCourseWare is one of them. And you get access to the lectures. You can use the same books they use, take the same quizzes, same homework. And in some cases, you can even take the same tests. So you can take all those classes you wanted to about art history online, completely free. The only difference is at the end of the day, Day, you wouldn't have the piece of paper which isn't going to help you out anyways. So it just does not make any sense to get the degree for like 99% of people. Number six is going to be a restaurant management degree. So colleges know that their game is starting to get exposed and people are realizing that 80% of college degrees are complete trash. Look! Look! What the is this? So they've started coming out with reasonable sounding degrees that sound like they might actually get you a job like restaurant management or hotel management. Yeah, they're basically printing these degrees faster than the government is printing money. And that's pretty impressive because the government is printing money pretty damn fast. And these degrees do end up trapping a few extra thousand suckers per year that think that they're actually getting a worthwhile practical education. When in reality, the only way to learn how to be a good restaurant manager is to work in a restaurant and then work your way up to the manager position. And this is another one of those examples of things that you cannot learn in the classroom. The only way you're gonna learn how to do this well is through real life experience. And this is an absolute joke of a degree that will probably lead you to an entry level minimum wage job as a bus boy or a fry cook. <sighs> oh boy. Number five is pop culture degrees. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, sadly, this is a thing. 
Now, entering into the top five, this is where we're going to start getting to the really, really bad degrees. And it's actually starting to get painful just to oh even think or God. read about this. Yes, there is such a thing as a pop culture degree. Sadly, I discovered this while I was doing research for this video. Yes, you can get a degree where you study about who Taylor Swift is currently feuding with or Justin Bieber's latest haircut. I mean, I just, I don't even know what to say about this. Um, sounds like a great way for you to spend five years of your life and $100,000. Number four is a nannying degree. Yes, this is a thing too. Where's the baby? So let's go ahead and see which one of these makes sense. Option one, a career that didn't require a college degree for, you know, thousands of years suddenly requires one. Or option two, this is yet another desperate attempt by thirsty colleges to suck as much money out of the lower and middle class as humanly possible. Hmm, let's see. Probably option number two. All right, listen, I, I can't even say any more about these degrees. It's it's just it's just too much. Let's let's go ahead and move on. All right, so number three on the list is going to be a puppetry degree. Yes, finally a degree that's worth something. It's gonna teach you how to become a puppet master. No, 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 not that kind of puppet master. What I mean is a ventriloquist like Jeff Dunham. What the hell's so funny? But the only problem here is Jeff Dunham never got a puppetry degree. In fact, I looked up just about all of the famous ventriloquists online and I didn't find a single one that got a puppetry degree. Because if it wasn't completely obvious, you don't need a college degree to learn this skill. This is something that you learn by practicing. And if you really need help from somebody else, you can go ahead and hire a professional ventriloquist. Even if you hired them hourly and you work with them several times a week, it would still be much less than a college degree. But hey, at least you'll be able to entertain your little nieces and nephews at family gatherings, right? Or you could just save yourself the headache and become a street performer. You never know, it could be your calling. <laughs> All right, number two is going to be individualized degrees. And this is a very disturbing trend that I've noticed lately. So this is proof that colleges are just completely shameless. Like they're not even trying to hide it anymore. Instead of providing people a valuable, well-rounded education and helping them find their life purpose, you know, doing things that would actually be useful to society, colleges decided to create a bunch of random bullshit majors and 80% of them are complete scams. But then universities like Evergreen State College decided to take it to a whole nother level and they're essentially allowing students to create their own degrees. Yes, this is basically the Build-A-Bear workshop of degrees. This place is psychopathic. Because of schools like this, you will likely soon be seeing meme degrees like RuneScape Art History or World of Warcraft Studies. Ah. And unfortunately, there will be a significant amount of naive 17 and 18 year olds that will fall for this trap. <laughs> but speaking of memes, none of them are as bad as number one on the list, which is going to be a gender studies degree. <sighs> All right, number one is so bad that it literally became a meme on the internet. They're the same picture. And it has become yet another way for the rest of the world to laugh at the dumpster fire that is the US education system. And by the way, I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of people in the comment section that say stuff like, my aunt's barber's daughter's butcher's cat got a gender studies degree and now makes seven figures working in their dream job. Like, okay, cool. You can always find an exception to the rule. It's called luck and probability. But anyone who actually looks into this stuff is going to quickly figure out that most of these degrees are useless 99% of the time. And I know somebody's going to say, oh, but Shane, it's not about the money. It's about studying these subjects for personal fulfillment. Come on, get out of here. It absolutely is about the money. They wouldn't be charging you $100,000 to get the degree if it wasn't about the money. And this decision is going to have huge effects on literally every area of your life outside of money. There are millions of people out there that are not able to live a normal life or follow their dreams in the United States because they have a massive amount of student loans that is permanently attached to them like a chain and ball on their leg. So of course, the rational thing to do in this situation, whether you agree with the situation or not, is to make sure that you are getting a return on investment for whatever degree you decide to get. And also who gets to say that college is the only place that you can find personal fulfillment? 
fulfillment. I personally have found much more personal fulfillment from traveling around the world and experiencing different cultures. So who gave college a monopoly on personal fulfillment? There are many places that you can find personal fulfillment and college is probably the most expensive and least effective one. So I don't wanna be negative here. Usually the videos I post to this channel aren't all that negative. In fact, I made an ultimate guide to choosing your dream college degree, which I highly recommend you check out because it's a life changing video.